today I got a message of someone who wanted to be with us this evening but their family members blocked them and stopped them because they said no way you are not going to go to those Muslimin may Allah protect us and these people are non-Muslim may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand that the gift we are upon is such that if they knew the goodness we are on they would be here first you know when I was in Hajj in 1996 there was a fire in Arafah sorry in Mina there was a fire and the tents were being burnt and I was passing in the morning and I heard one of the policemen on their walkie-talkies on their little radio systems being instructed to empty out the whole of Mina and I was shocked and this policeman was asking a question are you sure and the instruction was coming from the top to say empty out the whole of Mina and I happened to hear this so I went back into my tent and I told the people that look I heard an instruction empty out the whole of Mina because the fire has started on one end and the wind is blowing and the gas canisters are bursting and it's coming very fast up to the top so I remember clearly there was a man who said he's talking nonsense make dua Allah is the greatest the fire will not come here did you hear that so I got up with respect and I was still a young person student and I said you know we make dua but with the dua we need to walk out as well <laughs> really I cannot insult Allah to say ya Allah I, I'm doing dua help me you know today we have a beautiful venue there was a big effort put into this I'm sure the brothers did not just sit and say ya Allah let it happen Ya Allah, let the light come. Yeah. But we say Bismillah. In the name of Allah, Ya Allah, give us the courage, the power, the ability, and so on, and accept it from us. Then we start in the name of Allah. And that is the achievement. So later on, I decided to create a little flag. We put up a pole and a piece of cloth at the top for the people of the tent to know that we are walking in this direction because we were belonging to one tent and we are walking towards Makkah. Or at least towards Aziziyah, which is just outside Mina. And you know what happened? About one hour later, the same man who was telling everyone to sit and relax and read dua, I saw him in front of me. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, Subhanallah, he understood the value of the statement I made. Now, the reason why I am saying this is. There are people sometimes who don't know the value of the deen of Islam, but had they known it, they would compete with you regarding the deen. They would be in tahajjud before you, and they would probably be in fajr and read a better salah than all of yours put together. This is why I say, do not underestimate the gift of Allah. There are people out there who will catch us on the day of judgment and say, I interacted with you all your life. Why didn't you introduce me to Allah? So it's our duty from the very beginning anni walau ayah. convey from me Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says even if it means a single verse convey it give it to others in what way give it to them through your actions and through your words through your character and through your words so one is to say Islam teaches this Islam teaches that and Islam is so good and Islam teaches good character but more important than that is to live by it so that people look at you and they say wow this is what you get as a Muslim may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease really may he grant us all contentment that we are searching for may he make us go back to the basics the basics so one of the first points that I am mentioning is how strong are you with your salah if you are strong with your prayer the rest of your deen will fall into place by the will of Allah but if you are weak with your prayer what do you expect the main point everywhere you look in the Quran so many places in the Quran Allah says Establish your prayer, give alms to the poor, find yourselves praying with those who are praying, bowing, prostrating with those who are bowing, prostrating, and so on. So many different places in the Quran. The issue of salah, so important. Whereas when we don't read it, what happens? 
We want to call ourselves good Muslim. I'm a good Muslim, inshallah. You know, alhamdulillah. I dress in this way. I say, salamu alaikum when I see people. Is that what Islam is? I just say, salamu alaikum. Do you know the term salamu alaikum? Assalamu alaikum means may peace be upon you. In other words, I will not harm you to start with and I pray that there is peace upon you from every other direction. There you are. But the hypocritical behavior of today, as you and I know it, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And as soon as they move, mm, that sister, you know, ah, that woman, dangerous, poisonous, watch out, watch out. <laughs>